Hi everyone, I am back today with another trust and estate quick tip. Today we're going to talk about naming beneficiaries on unusual accounts such as business accounts and your 401k account. So we get uh, the question a lot about how do they name uh, beneficiaries on their business accounts or what do they do with their business accounts. There's nothing you need to do with your business account as far as a beneficiary designation. All your other accounts should have beneficiary designations, but your business account is owned by the actual business, by the entity. It's either a corporation or it's a limited liability company or something along those lines. So the entity actually owns the account and the entity doesn't die, therefore it doesn't need a beneficiary designated on that account. In fact, if it truly is a business account, the bank won't even let you name a beneficiary on the account. Your business should be titled in your trust if you have a trust. So that's done by a simple assignment into your trust agreement. If you don't have a trust, then you should consider getting one because that business will go through a probate administration. Now onto your 401k accounts. You should definitely have beneficiaries listed on these accounts. If you're married, you're typically going to name your spouse and then you can either name your adult children or your trust if you have one. Um, but you are not allowed to name anybody other than your spouse. So sometimes people say, well, I want to name this person or that person and I'm married. Well, you can't. 401ks are special. They are governed by federal law called ERISA and your spouse is your automatic beneficiary. Even if you name somebody else on that account, it will go to your spouse. So don't get caught off guard. Your spouse can waive that in writing if they agree to that. If not, um, your spouse is gonna get that account. So don't be caught off guard. That is our quick tip for today. I invite you to subscribe to our YouTube channel for additional quick tips and other helpful information. I have put a link to our YouTube page in the notes here. You can also find that on our website as well as links to all of our past Zoominars, uh, which are super helpful on lots of different topics. And of course, you can always reach out to us at any time for additional information. Thanks.